So with the male model, I'll start with the penis and then address the, the testes and the gonads and how sperm travels as it makes its way out the urethra. So beginning with the penis, if you take a cross section of the penis, you're gonna find the two superior chambers um, are gonna be the corpora cavernosa. Um, so this is gonna be your corpora cavernosa. And then underneath that, where both sperm as well as urine travel, and again, we're just looking at half of it here, but this is going to be your corpora spongiosum. And this is gonna be the spongy urethra traveling here. So again, corpora cavernosa, it's also shown here. And then here is the spongy urethra where both um, sperm as well as urine are going to travel in the male. Um, so moving over here, you have the scrotum, you have the testis, um, testes, a plural, testis, singular. So this is where sperm is going to be made. But then sperm is actually gonna be stored in this structure term, the epididymis. And so you have the head, the body, and the tail of the epididymis. And the tail is where, more specifically, sperm will be stored until um, ejaculation. During ejaculation, sperm travels up the epididymis. So this is the spermatic cord here. Following the vas deferens, sometimes also referred to as the duck deferens, Pardon my video skills here. So again, from the, the tail of the epididymis, vas deferens is going to travel through here, and then it tucks down here, running on the posterior side of the bladder. So this structure here is actually the, the ureter passing into the bladder. This is a good view of the seminal vesicles as well as the prostate. So at the back of the bladder, here is gonna be your seminal vesicle. So on the posterior aspect, very close to where the ureter enters. This is the prostate. So the prostate gland sits on the inferior aspect of the bladder. And so as sperm travels through the vas deferens, um, it comes past both of those glands. So the ampulla of the vas deferens, this is the ejaculatory duct. And so the vas deferens is gonna broaden here. It's gonna pick up fluids from the seminal gland as it passes through here. And then it picks up additional fluids through the prostate gland as it travels through here. Um, and then it will go out the penis, that part's hard to see from the model, um, out through the, again, the spongy urethra. Portions of the urethra out in a different model as well. So here you're gonna have the prostate shown in this model. So this is gonna be the prostatic urethra. This is gonna be the intermediate or membranous urethra here. And then the portion that travels through the penis is gonna be the spongy urethra.